Hi, I'm James with RenergyCafe.com and uh, this is the fourth video in a lecture series and we'll be covering now Ohm's Law. We've already covered voltage, current, and resistance. So let's go ahead and state Ohm's Law and then relate voltage and current and resistance to each other. So we have E equals I times R. If you've taken any electronics courses before, you'll understand what this means. If you haven't, I'm going to break it down here for you. E is voltage. I is your current. And R, it's pretty easy to remember, that's your resistance. Now, voltage equals current times resistance. That's the Ohm's law. Now let's go ahead and take that schematic that we had. Let's draw our battery, our regular acid battery in schematic form. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to put a little light bulb in there. And circle that to make it a light bulb. And remember the small n is a negative, the big n is a positive. Let's go ahead and put a value in there. Let's, let's do our uh, 12 volts DC. And let's say that this, this light bulb right here uses 6 ohms. And ohms is a measurement of uh, resistance. So we have 6 ohms. This is the ohm symbol right there. We have 12 volts DC, which DC is what we're going to be using. Uh, and 6 ohms. We just have to plug it into our value here knowing that this is voltage. We just say simply that voltage is 12 equals current, which we don't know, so we'll just leave the I out there, times 6 ohms. Okay, so this is our formula right here. 12 volts equals current times 6. Now what we have to do is get that I by itself, get the current by itself. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 6 leaves us with 2 equals I, and uh, we measure current in amps, so that leaves us with 2 amps. Now let's take this a step further. Let's say we had 12 ohms here. What would happen? We had 12 ohms in this series circuit. We would go ahead and uh, rewrite this right here. We'll just plug it in right here, because that's where we would be dividing it from. And uh, 12 divided by 12, well, that's 1. So that brings us to 1, and that would bring our amps down to 1 amp. Let's take it one step further. Let's say this is 24. So now we have 24 ohms. So 12 volts DC. We're still looking for the current. So we go ahead and we plug our 24 in here real quick to do our math. And uh, see, well, that's 1 half. So that's 1 half. So we would say that we have 0.5 amps. And we can see through this that the relationship between current and resistance is this. As resistance goes up, current goes down. All right. So let's go ahead and take this one more step further. Let's erase this here. Let's go back to uh, 6 ohms. And uh, let's say that we have, we know that we have 4 amps. And we're trying to figure out where the volts, D, volts DC is coming out of this battery here. All we have to do is, uh, just like before, we plug it into our formula. And we take E which is voltage, and that is what we're looking for, equals I, which is current, we know it to be 4 amps, so we take 4, and we multiply it by our number of ohms, and we have 6 ohms. So 4 times 6 is 24, so we know we have 24 volts in this circuit. And that's important to uh, point out, because in a series circuit, it is measured over the entire circuit with volts. 
but that's it, 24 volts. Now you can rearrange this uh, Ohm's law e equals I times R any way you want, depending on what it is that you're trying to solve for. So that's the uh, intro to Ohm's law, and uh, the next step is we're going to get into series circuits like this, and then also step into parallel circuits and how the Ohm's law applies to both of those. All right. Thank you, and I'll see you then.